Welcome back to Sister Circle Live. If you are like so many, of course, like myself, who found themselves <laughs> dating in 2020, uh, don't be frustrated. There's still hope, trust and believe. And here to tell us the do's and don'ts of dating in 2020 is relationship expert, Dr. Jackie. Yay! Yay! I'm so happy to be back. Hey, Dr. Jackie girl. Okay. <laughs> hey there. So let's just get right on into it. You said there are rules to dating. Talk there us are. through some of these rules. Okay, so I'm gonna give you rule number one. Do not rehearse your past trauma and pain. Ooh. It colors the relationship before it even gets a chance to get mm, off the ground. That's so true. Oh, Number good. one, it's because you're reject, you're projecting your issues, your insecurities, your fears onto the relationship. And you mm. know, it's a self-fulfilling prophecy. Mm. It will come to pass. Mm. So if you see yourself in cycles, you've probably been rehearsing. Because see what it is, you're trying message. to tell the person, don't hurt me now. Mm -hmm. <gasps> don't do to me what the other person did. So you right. tell them so that they are hopefully on their P's and Q's, but it will always recreate mm -hmm. what Golly, you don't want. Wow, that's deep. And that's mm -hmm. like yeah. not going into that with other things because it is unfair for the person, for the person in which you're dating. They don't know you, y'all getting to know yeah, each other. Why are you taking it out on him? It really it's wrong. Yeah, but in the field of psychology, <laughs> what? No, she ain't talking. It, it will give you what you don't want. Just oh, remember yeah. that. Number yeah. two. Embrace rejection. Mm. It is a tool okay. of natural selection. Mm. So really, we look at rejection as what's wrong with me. Mm -hmm. okay, rejection is not an indication that there's anything <laughs> wrong with you. Nothing is wrong with It just you. means that you are not meant to go in that relationship with that person mm. at that time. And it's good to know it on the front end and That's on the back end. That's what I'm saying. Yes. Mm -hmm. So yes. a yes. tool of natural selection. It's good. Yeah. Well, you know, the times are changing and tools are changing. So how has dating changed in 2020? Well, dating has changed quite a bit. First of all, uh, if you look back 15 years ago, mm -hmm. dating took time. People had to have those, they had to have game, they had to have their skills, so they had mm -hmm. to find a way to connect with you, delve down, drill down to get to know you. Mm -hmm. So what we have now in 2020, you have technology now, it, it makes everything like a microwave. Mm -hmm. So just like you pull through a drive, you have a hot meal in, in what, less than five minutes? Mm -hmm. You also have a hot date. You also have radiation less... at that point. <laughs> <laughs> Well, you know what? You're getting a lot of other things too besides radiation with this dating in 2020. And so, you know, it has really changed. Also, the order of the relationship. Mm, and you th that's important. A lot about getting to know the person and then the sexual intimacy will come later. Mm -hmm. Now sexual intimacy is almost first and then let's get to know. Uh -uh. Nope. Mm -mm. Okay, but what mm -mm. if it is first? Well, it can is. You can you recover? I, let's just keep it real. Okay? <laughs> now I'm married. I can keep it 100. Yes, yes. What if you get into an, a predicament with a young man or a young woman mm -hmm. and you actually are two good people mm -hmm. and this thing, you fall and trip and then you're... Things you happen. happen. So you tripped into the bed. You fell I, and tripped I, I, on, you landed you. on the bed. Good. Okay, yeah. so then what you have to do is hope that you're able to recover. And it really is going to de be determined by what is the person's end goal? What are they after in that relationship? And maybe now you can go back and start getting to know the person. Mm. I but don't it really kind of makes it a little bit I more challenging. I don't think you should kickstart a relationship with sex. I don't know, not necessarily, but I know purpose. a couple. I know, I know a couple. Right. They did the booty on the first night mm -hmm. and they're still married. They've been married for, for some yeah. years. Right. And maybe it was because they had such a magnetic right. yeah. connection. You know, that they just couldn't keep their hands off of each you other. You know, I personally don't, you know, but I just know that it worked. My grandma would say, You so hot, girl, you can strike a fox. <laughs> <laughs> let's get back to back to the basics. Okay, what yeah. are they? Let's, let's, let's talk about the basics. So, so the basics, the basics is things. good old fashioned communication and interpersonal skills. I'm going to mouth the interpersonal yes, skills. Mm, <laughs> I like that. Really important. Break that so down. we're in the age where it's about what it looks like. You're able to market yourself on social media and look really wonderful, but we need to get back to the the art of communication. Mm -hmm. Nowadays, we don't really communicate. Mm -hmm. You need to know how to ask the right questions. Mm -hmm. Yes. Because then you get the right answer. What are some right questions? I'm well, dating in 2020. You need to talk about who are you? Mm -hmm. what, what are I your ask. goals and aspirations? What do you too. see yourself in the future? Mm -hmm. What is that you want, even mm -hmm. out of this relationship? Yeah. yeah, I ask all of those questions. What mm -hmm. about mm -hmm. texting? Because I, I, and I'm so guilty for the, uh, I'm guilty with this just in relationships so you're, across you're the board. A habitual you know. texter. I'm a, I'm a texter because I just, some Sometimes I don't feel like talking on the phone. Mm. But in relationships, new relationships, I don't know if that's mm -mm. the most, you know, it's not effective, effective it's not. way of communication. So it isn't. in an age where texting is so prominent, what advice would you give people who are just texters? Begin to do more face to face. Mm -hmm. What about the FaceTime? FaceTime? Well, FaceTime, FaceTime could be good because we know that 70-80% of communication is nonverbal. So you get mm -hmm. to learn a lot about a person mm -hmm. that they're not saying. Mm -hmm. You need to learn to 
hear what they're not That's saying right, and see what they're not right. revealing. And then you right? can look in the background too exactly. on the FaceTime. You can. Yeah. Yeah. Really you might be looking at closets yes. and stuff yes. like that. I understand. Mm -hmm. I I that. That's, why, that's why that love is blind is is, mm -hmm. is a fool because mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> it's good enough. But I'm going to tell you, I'm, I'm not good with dating people's filters. You know, because on that social media they're using filters. Oh my God. In such an, in sometimes the skin don't naturally. It's what no. it looks like versus what it is. So you want to learn how to really vet. And you can go on YouTube mm -hmm. and learn how to, how to um, create small talk, mm -hmm. how to get to know people. There's so many things that are available to us to get better at, you know, Dr. get Jackie, to up our skills. Really quickly. Mm -hmm. How important is patience mm -hmm. on both ends of the spectrum when, when you're dating? Good question. I think that patience, that's a really good question, yeah, isn't it? I'm, yeah, mm -hmm. I, I'm here all week. Well, <laughs> I'm just saying. <laughs> We got the expert. We need to get all the teeth. You That's do. So you need to, I think you do need to be patient. But again, it depends on what you're after. Right. If you're after just a little fun, you might not want to have a lot of time. Mm -hmm. But if you're really into a decent relationship, then you need to be patient and give people an opportunity people to, get, you know, to get to know you and you to get to know What are you doing hitting me? But Why I don't, I don't, don't get people dating. on? I'm dating in 2020. I got to ask you this. And it's exciting. What does it mean to date <laughs> in your natural habitat? What does that mean? In your natural <laughs> habitat. See, one one thing that you don't get to do is see people interact in their real habitat because you're mm -hmm. texting. Mm -hmm. But isn't it something you get to go out with them and see how they interact with other people? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's a I remember my girlfriend almost married this guy. And mm -hmm. one of the things that really turned it around, because they had a long distance, they were talking mm -hmm. and texting and stuff. He came here. We went out. You should have saw how he treated people. Oh, he was Just a mess. Really, he, wow. was, he was a mess. He it was, was a nasty. Bad time, he tried to learn. She exactly. didn't marry him. Exactly. I'm so I don't like him. I so you want to see like people either. in their real habitat interacting. How do they handle pressure when mm -hmm. something goes wrong in the run of the day? What do you yeah. do? Oh, he was, he talked down to this guy. The guy was just giving him a compliment on his shirt. No, this is such and such a brand. Oh, no. I mean, God. he made that Jeepers, guy. No. Yeah, I'm, sure negative. I'm sure his package shrunk up. He made that guy feel this small. Oh, several no. It was several so degrading. It was, it was you ridiculous. You put the shirt in a wash machine, it's going to tear too. So whatever. Whatever. But you say don't go go. <laughs> I'm don't serious. Ghost. You can talk about how, how awesome his shirt is. <laughs> For what? <laughs> Anyways. But don't ghost. Don't go ghost. What, don't so what does that ghost. mean? Well, I want to really talk about not just the fact that we don't ghost each other, but can we not have arguments mm. on social media? Can oh we? Oh, yeah. Can, that is so can annoying. we not break up? On, on social, social, media. social media. And then instead of at least giving people the decency of an explanation or trying to resolve, what do we do? Just block the number. Mm. Do you think that dating apps facilitate or foster that type of outward communication on social media? Or do you think that dating apps can be beneficial for people who are dating? Well, see, I think, again, it depends on your end game. What are you trying to do? What yeah. is it that you're after? Yeah. Mm -hmm. and, but I really think that humanity must get back to the, to the basics. Mm -hmm. You know why? Because the fact that we're so able to be cruel to each other without any consideration. Do you know what it does if somebody just goes to them and they're wondering like, well, what happened? Mm -hmm. They don't it's get the, uh, they don't get the respect. They don't get the And there's no correct. closure there. Because they know nothing. Mm, no closure. There's no closure mm -hmm. there. And it's disrespectful, honestly. It, it really is. is. Well, you know what, Dr. Jackie, just thank you so much because this is some really useful dating Man. advice. I mean, I'm not even dating those useful to me. But for more tips like these, you can follow her on Instagram at Ask Dr. Jackie. That's a Q-U-I-E. So up